Hey everyone, Kyle Gothi here from GoatFilmReviews.com and I'm back with another unboxing video for you. Uh, so this week we are going to be looking at this collection. Again, it's another Criterion collection. And it is the Coker Trilogy, three films by Abbas Kiristami. Um, hopefully I get all the listing rights when I talk about this because this is just like the previous episode, a completely new purchase for me. I tend to, if you guys didn't watch the last one, I'll explain quickly enough. I tend to purchase a lot of Criterion Collection box sets just because the amount of price versus the amount of what you get out of the box set is quite something. It's like going to a miniature film festival or taking a class. Um, there have been a lot of times when, you know, blind buys for these kinds of things end up being really cheap when you wait around for one of the best sales. Criterion does a few on their website. Uh, you can always get some good deals when you buy them through Target during their sales. Uh, and then uh, Barnes & Noble does a big sale twice a year. So when that happens, I tend to give in and just purchase another box set, something that I'm really excited about. And you're probably going to see that in this unboxing, uh, as well as probably my July uh, movie haul. A lot of dangerous stuff happened with purchases this month. So we'll get to that as we can. But yeah, this film, so the box set actually has three spines, um, 990, 991, and 992. And it's referring to the three films that are inside the set. But uh, this is a, a set I've been kind of looking forward to for a while. Because again, not having much knowledge on Kirstami, I, I really, like, this is kind of my bread and butters. I love to dig into movies where I just don't know anything about them. Because um, like, I, like I did with the uh, Ingmar Bergman uh, box set that Criterion had, I I was taken aback by how much, I don't want to use the term content, because we're talking about cinema here, but like how much what they give to you when you when you can deep dive into a movie and see how it's made, see its cultural impact, hear historians talk about it, all that good stuff. So we're going to be talking about that film today. Um, number Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. This is Goku. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the Coker trilogy, three films by Abbas Kiarostami, today on Go From Movies Unboxing. Join us. All right. So here we are. We got the Coker trilogy right here. Three films by Abbas Kiarostami. Let's go ahead and peel off this plastic. Okay. You notice it's a Blu-ray special edition. I don't see a director approved edition, although I'm not, not really sure. Sometimes they have director approved where they oversee the process and sometimes they don't. So, anywho, I've been told that this set is gorgeous. And I mean, just, I like the simplicity outside the box as well. We turn it over here and we've got uh, some of our text with a lot of our special features and stuff. And you guys remember, I kind of, I really like the book that came with the previous set we talked about, Three Silent Classics by Joseph von Sternberg. But I was also talking about how light they actually seem to be on special features. There's some pretty good stuff uh Pretty good stuff here that we're going to get into as well. And we got three films here. Where is the Friend's House, 1987, 83 minutes. And Life Goes On, 1992, 95 minutes. And Through the Olive Trees, 1994, 103 minutes. All three of these are in Persian with English subtitles. So simple enough. Let's just slide it on out. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. So, oh, I see. So Through the Olive Trees is one layer of this. Uh, and Life Goes On is another layer. And Where is the Friend's House is the third layer that has the book inside of it. Wow, that's that's a really cool set. I mean, just based on like a pure, you know, eye-watering beauty level. There we have it right there. We got the book. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's start with the first film listed, Where is the Friend's House. Now, again, this is 1987, 83 minutes in Persian with English subtitles. Uh, and again, full disclosure here, I've not seen any films by this director, so I don't know that much about them, but I, I really like the set, and I really I, I never seem to be unimpressed with a, a Criterion film. So this right here, again, simple enough outside. I just, oh man, I love how they how they kind of flow together here on the back. So uh, the first film in Abbas Kiarostami's Sublime Interlacing Coker Trilogy takes a simple premise. A boy searches for the home of his classmate whose school notebook he has accidentally taken and transforms it into a miraculous child's eye adventure of the everyday. Ooh, that sounds kind of good. Uh, this is a 2K digital restoration, and it also comes with, get this, I love when Criterion does this. They actually did a feature-length documentary called Homework from 1989 is included as a special feature with this film. So you're getting a fourth film for free. Uh, that is a feature-length documentary by Abbas Kiarostami, newly restored. It's also got a conversation from 2015 between Kiarostami and programmer Peter Scarlett. So again, not a lot of actual um, special features for this film, but I like when a special feature is a whole other film. I think that's fantastic. So we're going to slide that one over here. We'll go on to the next one. And again, it's so cool that they kind of interlace as time goes on here. So um, this next one, yeah, and life goes on. 
right here. I'm going to try and be very careful because it's kind of like sitting by itself. This doesn't really work as well. But uh, again, 1992, 95 minutes in Persian. Uh, in the aftermath of the 1990 earthquake in Iran that left 50,000 dead, Abbas Kirstami returned to Coker, where his camera surveys not only devastation, but also the teeming life in its wake. Okay, so it's kind of a blending of documentary uh, fiction, documentary and fiction, so that's kind of cool. I like, I like that the film, even though it's connected to the previous one by its location, it's also, you know, kind of its own natural fluid take. It's not really, like, forced. Again, this is a 2K restoration. It's got a commentary on it. Um, Co-authors of the book on Abbas Kiristami, uh, Mirna Said Vafa and Jonathan Rosenbaum, do a commentary for the film. There's also a 1994 documentary, Abbas Kiristami, Truths and Dreams. I don't know if that's a feature-length one. It sounds like a short because they would put feature, I think, on there. Um, new interview by scholar Hamid Nafisi and you know, the subtitles. So that's pretty cool. I, yeah, again, I'll show you here. That's how it looks kind of by itself. But then we, we slide in where is the friend's house, and that looks really cool by itself, too. So let's move on to the third and final film in the set, uh, the, the big wide one, because everything else fits inside of it. That's Through the Olive Trees. And again, we got our little outside there. 1994, 103 minutes in Persian with English subtitles. Through the Olive Trees, uh, Abbas Kiarostami takes meta-narrative gamesmanship to masterful new heights in the final installment of the Coker trilogy, unfolding behind the scenes of And Life Goes On, this film traces the complications that arise from the romantic misfortune of one of the actors, a young man who pine, pines for the woman cast as his wife, even though in real life she will have nothing to do with him, creates turmoil on set and leaves the hapless director caught in the middle. So again, like the meta-ness is kind of off the charts here. Um, I don't, This is going to be a very interesting set to go through for somebody who's not seen any of these films, but under here on the special features, we got a 2K digital restoration again, a new interview with director Abbas Kiarostami's son, Ahmad Kiarostami, a uh, new conversation between scholar Jamshid Akrami and critic Godfrey Cheshire and English subtitles. So, again, like, a little light on special features, but the presentation alone is pretty darn impressive here. It's a beautiful-looking set. I love the way this thing looks when it's all kind of together like that. Let's take a look at the book here, too. The book's a little bit thinner than the one that we had for Joseph von Sternberg, but it's also not thin by any stretch of the imagination. So we've got, you know, credits for all three films. And then Journeys of the Heart, which is, uh, again, uh, from Godfrey Cheshire, who did interviews that we saw in a few of these special features. So there's a little bit of a page through of that. Um, yeah, just some really, some really good behind-the-scenes stuff. I like to read these books as I'm going through the set. Um, I think Kiarostami had a few other films in the Criterion Collection. So, yeah, there's one, the kind of a more long-length, um, look at the, the filmmaker's works from Godfrey Cheshire in that too. So let's see, where's the friend's house is the one that we're looking for here. So that's where the book goes. So yeah, nice little set right there. And again, nice, cool, how they kind of filter into each other and how they kind of come together as well. It's a really gorgeous looking set. Um, uh, ooh, there you go. And there we are. So there you have it. That was our breakdown of the, the Coker Trilogy, three films by Abbas Kiarostami, the Criterion set, which I think originally sells for $99.99. Can I would wait until you can get it for at least half off because I think that, I mean, it's, it's worth the value no matter what you get into it, but if you can save some money, why not save some money? Um, again, thank you guys for joining me for this. I don't do a lot of unboxing videos. I'm kind of getting into it now, but uh, a colleague of mine was like, why aren't you doing them? You buy the crap anyway. You might as well open it up for people to see it. And that's true. I mean, I, I tend to spend money I don't have uh, on things that I probably don't need. And so I might as well share that with you. So maybe you can learn from my mistakes or, or decide if this is right for you. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, if you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to add to the conversation, please comment down below. I really do appreciate that. Uh, you can also like this video. You can subscribe to the channel. Man, I love when I get new subscribers, people who want to engage on the content that we're creating over here and talk about the movies that we're talking. Uh, like I said, my wife, uh, my wife is not into movies in the same way that I am. So this is kind of an outlet for me to talk to you guys as well. It's where the, where the whole Goat Film Reviews uh, website came together was initially because of that. So, hey, might as well join me for that. I really do appreciate that. Um, plugs, you can check out the website, GoatFilmReviews.com. You can follow uh, Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can also follow myself at Almighty Goatman on Twitter and Instagram. And you can check out my weekly show with Nick Palotichuk. Uh, that is Kyle and Nick on Film. That's also at KN on Film on Twitter, Kyle and Nick on Film on Instagram. And you can check out uh, episodes every single week of that show on YouTube. Uh, and thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.